Hi guys and welcome to another episode of Kabir Considers. In this video, I'm going to react to celebrities reading mean tweets. I've, I've, I have been loving watching these videos. As I've mentioned in the other videos, you know, it's just fun to see celebrities who you know are surrounded by, you know, people just like sucking up to them all the time, you know, just constantly like saying just nice things, you know, inflating their egos it's fun to see like them reading like negative stuff towards them just because it's, it's interesting to see how they respond to it how they take to it some completely just laugh it off they see the humor in it it's just a joke at the end of the day but then some of them actually take it super personally like tim robbins like the oh my god the guy from Sh uh, shawshank redemption he got really, really annoyed. Like his eye was like twitching and stuff. And like he had to, he was trying to keep his cool, but you could tell he didn't like that tweet. This video, I'm hoping we're gonna get a good combination of the two. Let's do it. Watching Hugh Grant and his stutteringly pathetic charm is about as appealing to me as closing my scrotum in a DVD case. <laughs> That was a good one. Do you, are these real or do you make them up to be especially nasty? <laughs> Kate Hudson is a dead-eyed trash bag that smells like low tide. Oh, <laughs> my God. Greg Kinnear star. <laughs> Greg Kinnear stars in Holy <laughs> Who Gives a <laughs> coming soon. <laughs> is, that, is that stupid bearded sweater wearing dumb dork? <laughs> Melissa McCarthy is the Medea of white people. <laughs> Jane Lynch have bigger d than Ultimate Warrior. Norman Reedus, I can fit. Hey, it's the guy from The Walking Dead. Two fists and a leg in my. <laughs> hit me up. Okay. Do okay. it. Tongue punch in the fart box is a neglected phrase. Use it today. Example, Margot Robbie deserves a tongue punch in the fog box. Uh. <laughs> Anthony Mackie is probably just angry that he looks like a f***ing aardvark. <laughs> Judd Apatow has completely ruined manhood. Olivia Wilde's forehead is the same size as my left ass cheek. And I weigh 250 pounds. So that's a good one. That's a zinger. But you imagine just how big that must be. Paul Rudd is the most boring vanilla dude. You know he just sits at home with his wife having a bland <laughs> spaghetti dinner talking about his day. That's pretty funny. Why does Ryan Gosling always look like he's trying to squeeze a fart out without making any noise? What <laughs> a gentleman. Has Zac Efron ever been in a film where he didn't play a total douche? I've never seen one of his films. I'm just judging by his face. <laughs> oh, how I loathe Nickelback. P.S. you, Wanda Sykes. <laughs> I love the misdirection. What's wrong with Nickelback? Russell Crowe is delightfully paradoxical in that he is a huge with a small penis. <laughs> Brian Cranston looks like Jim Carrey impersonating Matthew McConaughey. <laughs> all right, all right, all righty then. I keep forgetting that Kiefer Sutherland isn't dead. <laughs> well, to whoever wrote this, if it makes you feel better, it's not for a lack of trying. Oh my yeah. God. <laughs> Gal Gadot, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I am a MMA, is that a word? I'm a be wondering why that woman got no titties. Oh. They're here, they're here, don't worry. Oh, Emma Watson seems like the type of girl who I would be friends with for like three days and then get really sick of, but not tell her. Jake Gyllenhaal has the most punchable face of all time. I'd like nothing more than to sock him in his ugly, soft, starry-eyed pug face. <laughs> Elizabeth Moss looks stunning. I think she can clean up well, despite my grandmother's harsh opinion that she's hideous. 
I met the John Lithgow. That was what we call a backhanded compliment. His ball sack looks exactly like his face. <laughs> my face is not complimented, but my ball sack is. Dave Chappelle's head don't fit his body no more. He forgot to exercise that milk nut on his shoulders. <laughs> that bitch tiny. <laughs> All frowning old dudes are Jeffrey Tambor to me. That's just hurtful. <laughs> Can Gwyneth Paltrow just stick to steaming her vagina and shut the f up? <laughs> Jennifer Aniston is what happens when a bag of flour gets its big break. Because <laughs> it's like I'm a bag of flour. <laughs> Jim Parsons looks like a ventriloquist dummy that came to life to become a sex offender. Oh. <laughs> Damn, damn, that was brutal. Amy Lannister has a tiny <laughs> pass it on. Kristen Bell seems like the kind of person I'd be thrilled to be paired up with for a school project, but then would never want to hang out with her otherwise. That's probably true. I bet Jennifer Lawrence gives really unenthusiastic <laughs> How did they know? I'm going to submit Bob Odenkirk to ugly whites. Jeez. Someone just told me I smiled like Michael Keaton, and I don't know if I should take one million selfies or put a gun in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I'd put a gun in your mouth. At real Donald Trump writes, just tried watching Saturday Night Live. Unwatchable. Totally biased. Not funny, and the Baldwin impersonation just can't get any worse. Sad. <laughs> Is Kamel Nanjiani's d multiple colors? Yes. Every shade of your mom's lipstick. Ooh. Nicely done. And her butthole. It's kind of true. <laughs> John Hamm is a soft boy with a dad bod. Hashtag truth. <laughs> you, Chris Rock. You are on Grown Ups too. <laughs> well, if you lost all your money in divorce, you'd be on Grown Ups too, too. <laughs> I'd rather plant poison ivy plants in my anus before hearing another word about Kim Kardashian. Go ahead and do that. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Maisie Williams looks like a very young grandma. Oh, man, come on. That, that is mean. <laughs> uh, hashtag David Harbour. Hey, I'm ready to be punched in the face. Bring it, bag. It's nice. I just cut a fart that smells so bad they added David Spade as a supporting character. <laughs> That's not bad. I actually auditioned for that. I didn't know if I got it. Jake Gyllenhaal's d smells like hot dog water. It's like a haiku. It's like a be beautiful, beautiful thing to say. I bet Zendaya's feet smell like Funyuns. Let's check, shall we? Nope. Smells like success to me. <laughs> it must suck to be a cute little kid, only to grow up looking like a creep. Yes, Fred Savage, I'm talking about you. <laughs> That's <clears throat> true. <laughs> Tiffany Haddish has a big ass mouth. You can't bring ratchet ass bitches like her nowhere. Just shut the up. <laughs> well, you know what? Why don't you shut the up with your 14 followers? But thank you for introducing me to them. <laughs> you think Martin Short's had sex? I bet Martin Short's never had sex. <laughs> The older Mark Hamill gets, the more he looks like Yoda. Seriously, seen that guy lately? He's Yoda. Mmm, mean burn this is. <laughs> Thanks a lot. That was a great Yoda impression. Sarah Paulson, you bitch. I have mixed feelings about you right now. Well, guess what, mother lick? I have mixed feelings about you too. <laughs> mother <laughs> Kappa Kappa says, 
Jeff Goldblum is starting to annoy me now. Like, okay, dude, you're quirky. We get it. <laughs> you have some weird sweaters. Good for you. Uh, I, I know what you're talking about. Believe you me. If I was in your shoes, I might feel the same way. Like my new shirt. <laughs> Uh, for me, my favourite out of the bunch was the one about Maisie Williams, the girl who paid, who played uh, Arya Stark, about how she looks like a very, very young grandma. Oh, just because it's short, it's punchy, and man, you could tell it, it rocked her, man. She was rocked, like, oh my God. I felt bad. Very, very funny. I love these videos. I just really, really hope that uh, Jimmy Kimmel keeps making them. Please, Jimmy, do not stop. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.